The uh, Environment Branch of UNIDO is undertaking a number of activities relevant to climate change in order to reduce emissions of uh, greenhouse gases. Part of the activities relate to the more careful use of resources, which includes energy but includes also a large amount of other resources which are related indirectly to energy because there is energy involved in producing them and uh, making them ready to be used by industries. Uh, these activities relate in particular to resource efficiency in the manufacturing of goods where we are undertaking a large, actually a global approach in order to increase across the board the efficiency of small, medium and large industries in using their resources resources here being raw materials, water, also energy. We are educating a very large amount of uh, operators globally in several centers. More than 72 centers are actually combined in the resource efficient and cleaner production network that we are leading and managing. And uh, we are educating the staff in these centers to help industries to become more efficient produce with lower cost but also with lower impact on the environment. Now this consumption side of energy is always a very cumbersome area to uh, improve the, uh, the uh, emission of greenhouse gases and reduce the emission. Uh, we are uh, also working on much larger scale issues which relate to short-term uh, reductions in emissions of a significant amount. Uh, this in particular is the case for our Montreal Protocol activities where we are dealing with uh, industrially made greenhouse gases which are used for example to blow foams, insulation foams and to operate refrigeration and air conditioning equipment like the refrigerator at home, the air conditioner in the car or the air conditioner at home. These substances used to uh, or these equipment used to contain a lot of substances which have a very very high impact on the climate per kilogram and because this type of equipment is very widespread the aggregated impact on the climate is very large. It turns out that if you if you look at the reductions in the use of these uh, substances and, and related to the emissions that are taking place that uh, uh, based on an eight-year uh, average that UNIDO has actually reduced the emission of climate gases by the amount of 1.1 billion tons of CO2 equivalent um, in its about 20 years of operation of Montreal Protocol projects and implementation. Uh, this is uh, our most substantial uh, contribution to reducing the climate impact of human activities. We are planning for the future more work on non-CO2 climate gases as well. In particular we want to use the uh, experience that we did in implementation of the Montreal Protocol where we dealt with uh, pesticides in agriculture to deal with another climate gas in agriculture which is nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is emitted when you're using fertilizer and the fertilizer is not completely absorbed by the plants. Uh, part of that is runoff into rivers and actually leads to algae but part of that is uh, going into the air as nitrous oxide and contributes to the increase of global climate change. Now through improved practices on a large scale, which is something that UNIDO did already in the past with pesticides, through such improved practices in agriculture we can manage to decrease these emissions substantively in the order of about presumably a percent of man-made global emissions uh, of greenhouse gases. Now in order to get there we are starting our projects right now, uh, essentially these years, and uh, with demonstration projects and then scaling it up to national reduction of emissions. Uh, positive side effects is that it doesn't only help the climate, it will also improve actually the quality of the work of the products, it will uh, make the work of the farmers more efficient, will allow them to have higher yields and will reduce a number of other negative side effects of overuse of fertilizer, including reduced energy consumption, that, with that again a reduced impact on the climate, and uh, 
as said before, uh, less algae in rivers, less runoff, and a number of other positive side effects. The environment branch of UNIDO is working on a number of different conventions that we are supporting. On the one hand, there is of course the Framework Convention on Climate Change, uh, to which we contribute by dealing with a number of relevant substances, which are greenhouse gases, uh, in a number of activities we are undertaking. Secondly, uh, we have a large amount of activities relating to the Montreal Protocol. We are one of the top implementers of the multilateral fund for the implementation of the Montreal Protocol in developing countries where currently we are implementing projects in around 75 different countries, helping to reduce the impact of substances in refrigeration, air conditioning, foam blowing, as solvents, as aerosols, on the ozone layer, but also on the climate. Another convention where we are extremely active is the Stockholm Convention on Persistent Organic Pollutants. Persistent organic pollutants are substances like dioxins, uh, furans, uh, PCB, uh, a number of chemicals which stay in the environment very long and because they stay so long in the environment, uh, they can harm not only the local environment around a site where they are being used, but can actually harm the global environment. And these substances which are regulated uh, in the Stockholm Convention uh, are being um, used in a large number of industries and we are helping these industries either to use other substances or to remove what of these substances they have already around. We have just started our work on the Minamata Convention on Mercury. Minamata is a convention which is just being ratified and uh, in this convention we are dealing with the use of mercury and with the uh, mercury emission into the environment. UNIDO supports countries in assessing the degree to which mercury in their country is actually reaching the environment and to develop policies to reduce this amount. We are particularly active in the uh, conversion of industries which are currently using mercury as a catalyst in particular to produce chlorine in very large industrial plants. But our main focus will be in the future to concentrate on small artisanal gold mining. In artisanal gold mining, mercury is being used to extract gold from ore where gold is mixed with other substances. And this use is very, very dangerous, not only for the global environment, but also for the local people who are actually undertaking this. Their health and their families' health is severely impacted. UNIDO is helping these people and their related communities to implement and use technologies which do not need mercury, which lead to a higher yield, which will improve uh, the livelihood of the communities not only by removing the threat of uh, health scare like mercury is, but also by improving their economic livelihood and helping them to get out of poverty through all through programs which are related to reduce the use of mercury as a globally hazardous chemical. This is another very strong involvement that UNIDO has in uh, upcoming environmental convention. Other than that, UNIDO is also active to a lower degree in a number of other conventions. Uh, this relates, for example, to conventions dealing with uh, large marine ecosystems where we are doing implementation in order to improve livelihood in the seas, to improve fish stocks, to help fisheries and tourism to continue using healthy marine ecosystems in order to conduct their business. In addition to the Stockholm Convention, the Environment Branch is also active in a number of other chemical conventions. These are dealing with subjects like uh, transboundary movement of waste, of toxic chemicals and others. These issues are, and our contribution to them, are relatively small but very important because they will lead to the sustainability of our work, we will not only have achieved that industry stop using chemicals, but that this remains the way in the future by ensuring that also the trafficking of such chemicals, that the use of, of waste and others is controlled, is monitored carefully, that no accidents are happening. 
when, uh, when these chemicals are transported that receiving countries are actually understanding what they are receiving. So having supported these conventions through our work, we can actually make the work, the, the benefit that we achieve from major activities we are undertaking more sustainable with comparatively little effort.